Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Fatima. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to customize a pre-highlighted wig in order for it to look a little bit more natural um, and just look better on my skin tone. So this unit is from Nadula Hair. It's 24 inches of their Honey Blonde pre-highlighted wig. This is what it looks like. It's also a 5 by 5 closure, 180% density. So I really like this wig. As you guys can see though, I just felt like it didn't really fit my skin tone that good. And I wanted to just add something extra in order for it to really like fit and just look more natural. So what I decided to do was root the wig. So I used the Dark and Lovely dye, the shade 373 Brown Sable in order to do this. I just used a little bit of dye. Literally one bottle is more than enough. I think I used a quarter of the bottle. And I went in with this baby hair brush and just applied the dye on the root. I used both ends, so I would use the comb as well as the brush depending on what I felt like using. I was just trying to make sure to not get the dye onto the lace, that's really important. I did not put Got To Be onto the lace and I'm lucky enough that I didn't get any of the dye onto the lace, but I do recommend if you are dyeing a wig or rooting a wig, make sure to spray the lace with some Got To Be just in case you do get some dye on the lace. But this is what it's looking like, one side is complete and the other side is not done. I feel like it makes such a big difference and it makes the wig look so much more natural in my opinion. So now I'm doing the same thing to the other side I'm just applying the dye to a small section at the top of the hair um, and I'm going in sections so at first I just did kind of like the whole perimeter so I would do the front the sides um, kind of get that out of the way and then I would go in with a, the end of my rat tail comb and part everything out and then go in section by section just to make sure that I got every single part of this closure and obviously because this was a closure it didn't really take me too long to do this I was being very careful though so it probably took me maybe half an hour to 40 minutes in order to complete this because I was going slow and trying to make sure that I didn't get any of the dye onto the lace. So after I finished dyeing both sides of the closure, I let that sit for around half an hour and this is what it's looking like after that half an hour. So both sides are perfectly brown, exactly what I wanted. So I rinsed the dye out and then I washed the wig with purple shampoo. The wig is more so on the orangish side so I wanted to tone it just to make the color more ashy. So purple shampoo is a quick way to do that. I let the purple shampoo sit in the wig for maybe around 10 minutes and then I rinsed it out and then I let the wig air dry. So after I let the hair air dry, I straightened it, I added a little bit of curls, I also trimmed the hair and layered it a little bit. This is what it's looking like. I love how this root came out. It looks so natural and it kind of just looks like the wig came like that. So I really, really love the way this turned out and I feel like it fits my face a lot better now with the dark root. So let us begin with this install. First thing I'm going to do is add some cream foundation on the inside of the lace. I'm using the Ruby Kiss Cream Foundation as usual, number 13. And then I'm going in with an eyebrow razor and cutting off all of the excess lace. To install, I'm going to be using the Ebon Wonder Lace Spray. I love this spray so much. It's a lot better than the Got To Be spray. For one, I really like the nozzle. The fact that the nozzle is nice and you can get the spray exactly where you want it. The spray doesn't just shoot out everywhere. And the hold is so much better than Got To Be. So I'm a really big fan of the spray. So now I'm just combing out my baby hairs and then I'm going to tie everything down with my elastic band. I always make sure to tie the elastic band on top of the baby hairs like after I part that out so that the baby hairs lay in the correct direction which makes it so much easier for me to do my baby hairs. And then I'm going in with my favorite Care Care Wax Stick. I'm putting that all over the top and then I'm going to go in with my hot comb. Honestly, this is my favorite part. I don't know what it is about hot combing the front and getting it really nice and sleek and flat. I feel like it really, really, really pulls the look together. So yeah, this is always my favorite part doing the hot comb. Um, and yeah, just making sure everything is flat, giving myself a little hike in the front, of course. Next, we're doing baby hairs. So I'm cutting off the baby hairs with my little eyebrow razor, and then I'm going to curl my baby hairs with my half inch flat iron from Kiss. 
I love this mini flat iron. I got it for like $20 from Amazon. It's super inexpensive and definitely a lifesaver when it comes to baby hairs. I'll link it down below. So yeah, curling my baby hairs and then I'm going to use my holding spray by Pink. I'm gonna spray that onto my baby hair brush and swoop my baby hairs. This is a closure, so this install process was so quick and easy. This closure was also made really well. It laid really nice and flat. A lot of the times when I receive closure wigs, for some reason they are a little bit bulky and even if I hot comb the wig like a million times, it just doesn't lay as flat as a frontal would. However, this wig laid really, really flat. So I was impressed with the like, wig construction. But yeah, I also added some foam to lay down my baby hairs. I'm spraying just a little bit more of that ebon spray and then we're tying everything down with the elastic band once more. So after I took the elastic band off, I went in with some concealer and defined my parts, made sure that my part was really nice and straight in the middle. And then I also decided to curl my hair. So I curled my hair or I curled the wig before I even started filming on the dome head, but the curls had fallen a little bit. So I decided to go in and recurl the hair. I'm using this curler that I got from Walmart. It's a one and quarter inch curler from Conair and it was only $30. So if you're looking for an affordable curler, I definitely recommend this one. Okay, so I'm done curling the hair and this is what it's looking like. I love the way this install turned out. I love the way the roots turned out. And honestly, I'm impressed with myself because when I first received the wig, I was like, um, this is gonna look crazy. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but I feel like I really figured it out and finesse this wig. It looks so bomb. Um, thank you so much to Nodula Hair for partnering up with me on this video. If you like the video, go ahead and click the like button and leave some comments down below. Do not forget to subscribe if you are new here. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.